The distaff doesn't have a huge field, and with a decent run to the turn, should be a fairly run race. Mel Galanti has magically improved since Rudy Rodriguez has gotten hold of her. What a trainer. In her last, she jumped forward yet again to a huge figure on a day when two other Rudy horses also jumped forward to huge figures. Let's just say we would be shocked if she ran back to anything close to that level under Breeders' Cup conditions, shipping in close to the race. Close hatches ran two big ones over the summer, which may or may not have caused a regression last time out. This filly clearly is fast enough to win on her best, and we do note Mott got her to run well here last year. But last year, she wasn't coming off her worst effort in 17 months, and this year has had a lot of time between her previous starts, which she's not getting now. This very good filly may be over the top, and coming in late could throw a stinker. Don't Sal Sophia has been solid, but would figure to bounce a little even if she wasn't shipping to California close to the race. Io Tapa threw a huge figure pretty much out of nowhere in June, then not surprisingly bounced. In her last, she was off poorly and reportedly bled, but still didn't run terrible. Sadler's barn was moribund for a while, but he's had several horses run tops in the last few weeks, and with more than four months since the big one, Io Tapa may be ready for a top effort. Sadler got switched to fire big off a similar pattern last year. His Midnight will take money just because she got close to Beholder last time out. But Beholder was three wide both turns, while this one saved ground, a difference of four lengths. Tis Midnight has never run fast enough to contend here, and she's unlikely to go forward right away or if it was a pretty big top. Untappable began this year by running figures that were almost Rachel-like. While she hasn't gotten back to that level since the Oaks, she's still running figures that make her a very strong contender here at the Weights. And like the other Asmussen, she's been in California a month. She's likely to run at least as well as she has recently, and that makes her the one to beat. The bottom line in the distaff is that most of the fillies and mares will probably not run their race. Untappable will be very tough, and with a decent run to the turn, Rosie should get position. The only other one we'll be using is Iotapa, who could win this on her best. 